So, we will do a small comprehension on John and the cherries. One day, one day John went John went shopping. With his mother. John went shopping with his mother. The first call there, first call was at the green crossers, the green crossers. While his mother, while his mother, while his mother was buying some John looked, John looked longingly, at a box containing Containing lovely red cherries, red cherries. Help yourself. Help yourself to. Handful John said the green grasser. Green grocer, but John, but John did not, did not move. I'm sure. I'm sure you. Like cherries, cherries. I'm sure you like cherries, don't you? Asked the puzzled. Asked the puzzled shopkeeper. And 
chal nodded his head quickly thinking thinking that the boy was too shy to help himself the grasser the green grasser the green grasser went to the box when to the box and gave john a large handful when they had left when they had left the shop and they had left the shop john's mother john's mother asked him asked him why he had not why he had not taken the cherries when the grasser when the green grasser had told him to well well you see you see mummy you see mummy replied like john his hands his hands is twice as big as mine as big John and the cherry One day John went shopping with his mother Their first call was at the green grocer's and while his mother was buying some fruit John looked longingly at a box containing lovely red Help yourself to a handful, John. That's the green grocer. But 
John did not move. I am sure you like cherries, don't you? Asked the puzzled green grocer, and John nodded his head quickly, thinking that the boy was too shy to help himself. The green grocer went to the box and gave John a large hand. When they had left the shop, John's mother asked him why he had not taken the cherry when the green grocer had told him to. Then the little boy says, Well, you see, mummy, replied little John, his hand is twice big as mine. It's a lovely story, isn't it? So the little boy knew his hand was small, could get a little cherry. Now, there are some questions. Now that we have read the passage, let us answer these questions. Okay. Now the first question is, At what? At what shop? At what shop did John and his mother and his mother call first? First question is, at what shop did John and his mother call first? Okay. Now, John and his mother, they went shop. Isn't this? John and his mother went shop. Their first call, John and his mother's first call was, at the green grocers. At what shop did John and his mother call first? John and his mother's first call was at the green grocers. Okay, the next question. Question is what did? What did? What did the green grocer What did the green grocer tell John? Tell John to do. What did the green grocer tell John to do? Now, the green grocer told John. To take, I'm sure you like cherries, don't you? The green grocer told John to have a helping, good helping of the cherries he likes. Okay, now help yourself. A hand, the green, what did the green grocer tell John? The green grocer told John to take as much with his hand. To help himself, a handful of cherries. What did the green grocer tell John to do? The grocer told John to help himself to a handful of cherries. Okay, now at what shop did John and his mother call first? John and his mother first call was at the green grocer's. What did the green grocer tell John to do? Green grocer told John to help himself with a handful of cherry. The next question. Did John do as he was told? Did John? Did John do as he was told? Now, 
John did not do as he was told. The green grocer told him to help himself with the hand. What did John do? John only nodded his head quickly. Did John do as he was told by the green grocer? No, John did not do as he was instructed by the green grocer. John only nodded quickly. That's all. What was John reply, mother? What was what was John reply? Reply to his mother, to his mom. What was the reply to his mom? Said, "Well, you see, mummy, his hand, the green grocer's hand, was twice as big as mine. So, what did? Why did he not uh, uh, answer to the green grocer? John." A hand a little hand. What was the John's reply to his mother? John's reply to his mother was that his little hand too small. So then, Dean Cross's hand was the twice as big as his own little hand. We can have more questions. Okay, we can have more questions. Like. How big was John Green Cross's hand? Twice as big as the little John. Hand. Why did John wait and did not reply to the Green Cross? John wait did not reply, hoping he will get a large handful of cherry. Okay. What did the green grocer do when John only nodded without replying, without doing anything, although he looked longingly at? Why did? What did the green grocer do? Green grocer knew John liked cherry. Took a large scoop and plenty. Now, another question. What was John looking? Longingly at. What was John looking longingly at? John was looking longingly at a lovely red box of cherries. Large box of cherries, lovely red cherry. John was. So, let's go through this once again. You can form your own questions also. John and the cherry. One, John went shopping with his mother. Their first call was at the green cross. While his mother was buying some fruit, John looked longingly at the box chain, lovely red cherry. Help yourself to a handful, John, said the green grocer. But John did not move. I'm sure you like cherries, don't you? Asked. The green puzzled chopper, chopper, and John nodded his head quickly, thinking that the boy was too shy. Help himself. The green grocer went to the box, gave John a large hand. When they had left the shop, John's mother asked why he had not taken the cherries. When the green grocer had told him to, well, see, mummy, replied John, his hand twice as big as mine. Like the story, it's a lovely little story. So you wanted the John want the generous helping, you would take only little. Isn't it lovely? Yes. Now I have given a focus. We can make our own question when you understand the past. We will learn to create your own question and find the answer.